Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Admiral Markets webinar of 15 of December 2014. My name is Nenad, and today we will see five different setups, namely Euro-Dollar, Pound, Aussie, Euro-Yen, and Dollar-Yen. Last week was pretty much successful with our uh, trading, so let me uh, show you first, uh, firstly with the... Uh, we need to go with risk disclaimer, then after I finish with risk disclaimer, I will show you last week results and then we can proceed to this week's setups. Online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets as Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information in this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting this disclaimer, you're also proceeding further with me. Admiral Markets UKLTD takes no responsibility for information accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author. It's me and no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not the UK's opinions. So the website in the video is not a .co.uk website but the globalnews.com website. Forest is risky business and this should not be taken as advice, it's a personal opinion only. And this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. So with having said that, we are ready to proceed. So for all newcomers, all session recap trades and analysis is done with Camarilla MACD, my proprietary method. As always, you need to give a, a price a breeding room, a breeder. So you can enter within 5 to 10 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. Okay, if it's in agreement with your system, it clearly states that. You should respect your stop loss, and we usually take one position whichever hits first. It's either position trade or alternative trade. Position trade is trend trade, alternative trade is counter trend trade. If you're buying, you should add the spread. Okay, if you're buying, you should add the spread. For example, if you want to buy pound dollar at 63.50 and your spread is 2 pips, you're effectively buying it at 63.52. If you're selling, you add a spread to your stop loss. So, for example, if you're selling pound, you at 63.25 with stop loss at let's, let's say 63.55. So, if the spread is two pips, then your stop loss is 63.57. Very often, I even don't do that and leave stop loss fixed at 30. But please respect stop loss, which I put here on the slide. Usage of trailing stop is highly recommended because market has been very volatile. And you can see there is a forex market is expanding, guys. Uh, in a, in a <clears throat> com uh, when we compare last year in comparison to this same month, uh, this year and last year, forex trading is up 14%. It's not. It's it, it's pretty much 14%. So trading overall trading on forex market compared. From December last year and this year is up 14% this year. So we have a volatile market. That's good, but because of that, we should use trailing stop. Okay. So usage of trailing stop is highly recommended. These recaps are helping you to better understand the structure of the intraday trend. So if we see that we have a long position at one side, it's for our basically. Uh, three days of trading, today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. It's still based on intraday trend, and uh, you will definitely understand better the structure of intraday trend. Uh, as I said, these setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow, okay? Pay attention to my Twitter updates, okay? Pay attention to Twitter updates, because I occasionally if I see something that is happening with, with uh, the analysis, I will post it. Uh, last week it was with a pound dollar analysis. We went 15 pips in the profit after some drawdown. And I said I will be closing it for 15 pips. And ultimately it went for 35 pips, but I closed it for 15 pips. So I will take that into account, 15 pips. So Twitter updates are always taken into this uh, session recap slides as for results, okay? And always pay attention to Twitter updates, Forex Factory, and Admiral Marcus blog. Pips pool term 
is the maximum available number of pips you could have got on recap entries. So pips pool is the maximum available number of pips you can have on recap entries. Okay, recap entries, guys. Okay, let's see now. Last week results. 8 of December 2014. Euro dollar 50 pips. Pound 15 pips. Aussie 60 pips. Dollar yen 70 pips in profit. Only losing trade was New Zealand dollar, which went 30 pips, hit our stop loss. Then it went in, in our direction, but first it went to stop loss. So total uh, trade of the week. Uh, this is the mistake. Trade of the week definitely for me. It's Aussie, even though dollar yen could be the trade of the week. But I can say it's Aussie because it made more than 60 pips. If someone didn't close at the target, it went even after the, our target. So I can say the trade of the week was definitely Aussie. Okay. I will remove this. Okay. So trade of the week is Aussie. Total is 165 pips pool. Okay. So these were the results from the last week. Now, let's see what happened, basically, what, what happened uh, last week. Okay. This is... Euro yen, okay. Uh, no, sorry, euro dollar first. Yeah, euro euro yen is set up for today. We will see it later. So euro dollar is basically what I got in mind is to sell around 23.50 with stop loss 24. Target is 22.50. It wasn't exactly like that. Uh, the price went here, definitely. Look at the high 23.43. So it was 10 pips close to our 23.50 level, and basically. This was a signal to sell, and uh, look at this, some 50 pips to the downside, and then it reversed back up. So this is basically how I call it. I post it on Forex Factory and Admiral's blog later. It's called V-shape reversal. So this is V-shape reversal. You can see it, it started from here, and now I still think that the price has the potential to go with 26. I don't know why I saw how others did the analysis and uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm the only one who is longing euro dollar at the moment but definitely for me euro dollar has the potential to go uh, to 26 but still we shouldn't forget about uh, FOMC it I think it will be held on on a Wednesday right so that will much depend on whether euro dollar will go up or down. And still, I think I will I will show the setup for uh, euro dollar. But if you followed my analysis uh, on Friday, I put euro dollar for for December, but it, it's weekly outlook, guys. So if you're long here, if you're long somewhere around the region 24, 20 or something, it dropped. Uh, I advise you to still stay in the trade and. Put your trailing stop on because this is what I see. This is V-shape reversal. I, I taught you that, that pattern. This is look at this. So it's it was double top. Then look at this. It was broken to the upside. So this region here is still giving us chance to go long. Okay, and as I say, it still has potential to go. On. So last week it was sell. Now we have the chance for our uh, pair to go basically up. So we will be ready if it goes up. Okay. We will be ready if it goes to the upside again. We we can have some long trade again. Okay, so let's see. Uh, next uh, a pair was uh, pound. Uh, it was 56.60 sell. Stop loss was 57.55.00 was the target. Basically, what happened? This was the time of our webinar. 56.60 was here. Look at this. After I finished with webinar, the price. And someone told me price is in. We are in. Yes, we were in. But definitely, look at this. It went 35 pips to the downside. But I made update on Twitter, guys. I'm closing this trade for 15 pips. So some of you maybe got something more, something around 30, 35 pips. But uh, I closed it for 15 pips because I wasn't sure. Uh, it, it looks it looked like it might go to the upside again even though it was rejected but still I was happy with 15 pips on this trade and definitely pound look at this it's it's pretty choppy trading the pound now look at this look at this it's four hour candle look it doesn't look so good right for for sellers look and now I don't know I, I made the post on Forex uh, on a Forex Street 
my prediction pound might go to the upside, guys, and it has the potential to go to 58. But look at this. This is inverted head and shoulders. Only after it breaks this point, neckline, it can go. But it needs to break it. So we will see this setup later, but we also have a possible short pound. So two positions of pound I have prepared for today. Aussie. Aussie gave us nice pips. Uh, for me, Aussie was the trade of the week. Even though for it hit the target, look at this. I made uh, this uh, position, last uh, our last recap. 83.60 was uh, my uh, proposed entry. Stop loss was 84.00. Target was 83. But what happened is this was the time of the webinar. And you know how I trade. I always wait for pullbacks. So you need to wait for pullbacks if you want to trade the trend. You always wait for pullbacks. Don't forget that. If you want to go counter trend, then you don't wait for pullbacks. You wait for counter trend setups. So I'm teaching you how to properly trade Forex market, not place some nonsense entries. If you made breakout entry, that is the time when you can go into resistance if some conditions of the resistance are broken or support. Go short of support or long at resistance only at the breakout trade. Three ways to trade breakouts, trigger happy, breakout retest, breakout pullback continuation. You know about it already. Then, this was the trade of the week. The price exactly at 9th of December hit our t uh, entry and then dropped heavily. Made 100 pips, but we closed it for 60 because this was the target price. Then New Zealand dollar, it was a loss, uh, 7700 on uh, New Zealand dollar. And look at this, the price came here close to our entry position and definitely it didn't proceed to the downside. Yeah, it went, but only after it hit our stop loss. So New Zealand dollar was a loss. Dollar yen was a big winner, 120, 30 buy, stop loss 120, target 121. This was the time of our webinar. Two hours after dollar yen went to our entry point, look at this, and made some 70 pips to the upside. Okay? Now, guys, please confirm. Justina is saying it's lagging too much. Confirm that you don't have or a leg. So if you don't have a leg, say no. If you don't have a leg on sound and picture, everything is okay. So Justinius, you should restart your PC. There, there is no leg. Mm, thank you, guys. Okay, it's confirmed that we don't have everything fine. Yeah. So uh, what happened basically is price hit our entry. This was the entry and went some 70 pips after it went down but it doesn't matter we we are in profit i like when i take 15 pips and the 20 pips uh, on each of these pair and let alone 70 pips is good but sometimes we need to aim for a little more because if we see that market is moving in our direction what we do we aim for ultimate but we use trailing stop that way we can experience momentum if we see a momentum that same momentum can hit can, can give us a hit of our target but even though if it if it doesn't hit the, the target we are still in the profit the ultimate uh, way to trade is to keep your money safe and to make money okay so sometimes if you take 10 pips of i don't know 80 pip potential it's still good because you made it, it it's 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 yours okay and I'm here to help you to make that pips, make money. Everything counts. Everything counts. Even a loss. We count losses also. Why? Because even though if we take a loss, it's, it's still our risk. If we take a loss, what else can we do? We move to another trade. But that is good because we only lost some, we didn't lose much. It's up to you. When I lose, I don't lose much. It's, it's pretty much manageable. I don't make 20% uh, per month, but uh, I'm good with 2 to 5% per month. I already told you that. 
my risk is too low. Well, I know that some traders make more because they use these entries and put a little bit higher risk. But it's up to you how much risk you will put. That is why I really strive to give you a low stop losses, low stop loss placement. Usually it's 30 pips. It can be more, but still it's, it's, it's very, very good considering these are intraday to three-day trades. Okay? And let's say let's see now what I prepare for you today. Market plan for Euro dollar. Euro dollar is in downtrend, don't forget. But what I see is correction. And this is maybe only me. I see that I am the only one of those there are many I know famous analysts, guys, which basically give us some predictions. This is yeah, this is Euro dollar for our and I, I saw they predicted the price when going to 21. Maybe, uh, what I cannot say, it, it doesn't look that it will go to 21 at this moment. It just simply, I, I, I don't see logic now for Euro dollar. Maybe, if there will be some major news kicking in, I don't know, what can happen? Euro dollar quantitative easing measures are still pricing in, okay? It, it's be, they're being priced in, those measures. Then FOMC, I don't know, if, if FOMC, if, if uh, Miss Ellen is uh, pretty dovish, that should spike Euro dollar up, but we will see, I, I, I'm not sure. From technical perspective, guys, I think that you see the same as I do, I, I don't know. This is three Buddha bottom, okay, it looks like inverted head and shoulders, but this is three Buddha bottom, okay, look at this, left, head, Right, look at this range. This is three Buddha bottom, and this is V-shape reversal. And look at this. The price has been rejecting of this trend line. It's been rejecting. And this is a bias for me to buy into dips on Euro dollar. I know that the majority of, of market is selling now. But for me, I, I cannot go what others do. I, I, I always try to go with my charts. So this, this this looks for me bullish, okay? And it looks pretty much bullish. Because if it if it breaks this H5, this was it's 2510 guys. Look at this, it doesn't have much resistance. 2530 is next resistance and then 2580 26. So it it really has the potential to go up. But here it goes. Euro dollar, one hour chart. Okay, let, let me, first what I see, it's buy position, 23.70 to, I don't know, I, I, I'm still waiting for that pullback. Now how it looks, it's straight from Friday analysis, it, it definitely looks like it went uh, something around here and then jumped. And it's still going up, it, it doesn't give us a drop for some re-entry. It looks really bullish now to me. And... Uh, I'm still hoping for that better pullback because FOMC is soon, maybe Euro will be sold, but I'm aiming for 2620. I don't know, this is how, how it looks. Look, look at this, okay? If you put, let's say, let me do it like this. You can place a trend line here, okay? You can even place a trend line here. <clears throat> you can place a trend line like this. Oh, look at this. If this region is broken here, the height was 24.95, right? If 24.95 is broken, it can go. To 25.30, this is first resistance after it breaks here. It can go to 23.80, to, sorry, 25.80. And ultimately, 26.20 for me is the target. Because this is where this drop has started, previous moment. Let's say 26.30, but I'm going with 10 pips below. Okay, 26.30, 30, 15. 
median is 2620. And look at euro now. Look. Look, 2470 already. So this is pretty bullish. And the only one thing what I see is retracement. If I, if I get this price, I will be buying it in the next couple of days. Until I put, put, put a uh, post on Twitter, something has changed, and we shouldn't take this setup. But unfortunately, I was aiming for this today, and price dropped to 24.15. But uh, you can see it. Just it doesn't have, uh, yeah, 24.14. It doesn't have the strength to go down. It, it doesn't have <coughs> the strength to go down. It looks like it sounds like how we call it, a paradox, right? Uh, so it, it, it isn't weak to go down, it's strong. And it tries to break this resistance here. And this is resistance trend line. This is resistance trend line, okay? So this top here is important. If it breaks, it might, yeah, it might reject here, Kalyan. But what if it breaks to the upside, make a retest? and make a continuation. Then, of course, if you go with breakout trades, you will be long, right? And you will keep your trade. What if? It can happen that it might reject, right? But at the moment, this bullish momentum is pretty strong on Euro dollar, really. And by the way, how it looks, three Buddha bottom, V-shape reversal, trend line, guys. Trend line. What I see here is long. If I get a trade, if we get a trade, tr let's try to go up. Maybe you can also exploit some short-term breakout of this trend line. So you can trade breakout retest. If 24.50, if 24.90.95 uh, is broken, you can try for a breakout trade. But let's see. It, it, it looks bullish and from intraday perspective I would like a pullback 100 pip pullback and then go long the ultimate target is this my analysis I'm not an expert for long-term analysis I am I, I work this I'm an intraday trader I, I love to make money each day try to make money each day and I care how the price will move this day next few days and this week and then I do the analysis again. And then I made some long-term analysis because I would, I would, I, I really wanted to see where it might go. And uh, what I saw is, if it comes to 2620, and it goes to 28, it might be a solid top. Pretty much, it it will be a solid top because then from 28 it can start dropping to 21. But if I see that 28 is touched and the price is rejecting the zone, 28, 28, 30, 50, I think I could go short aiming for 21. Now at this moment, I don't see the price going to 22.50, let alone 21 or 20. Okay? This is definitely what I wanted to say for euro dollar now gbp dollar is in a downtrend and sell positions can kick in 2730 2730 we uh, 27 57 70 stop loss 5650 this is alternative trade which uh, which i will show you okay i will show you why i took this alternative trade here so gbp dollar look <laughs> look at this uh, I'm not sure that 2620 can give us 22. Uh, if 2620 is broken, I'm saying, then it can go to 28. But if, if, I don't think that 2620 will be at a solid top on euro dollar. Let me just clear euro dollar situation, guys. I'm not saying it can go to 2620, right? But uh, guys, still, the ultimate level where it can be a, a solid top, this is it. This is the level, previous breakout on daily, failed, fail, fail, this is rejection, 
And what happened is, look, from this point, price has started to go down. This can be head and shoulders inverted again on daily, but it, it will take some time, right? But yet again, if this level is broken, this is the first target, big target, and I still think that this can be tested again. And then from this point, bang, it, it can go straight down. It can go from 2620, but still, if it breaks 2620, but let's see first. It, it, it isn't close to 2620, it's 2460 at the moment, so we will see. Look at pound, and the reason why I did two possible trades, so this is breakout trade. Okay? Now, sell around 57.30. Let's see sell. First, we go with sell trade, 57.30. 57.30, 50, guys. Okay, 57.30 region. 57.30 I will mark this level here, why it's important to me. Okay? Look at this. A lot of rejection from this level. This is huge. And look, it's very close to 38.2 retracement. Okay, and guys, personally, th this was basically what the price did. So if it look 78.6, usually 78.6 rejections can give us 38.2 retests. Okay, because next level is 88.6, next level is 23.6, next level is 100, next level is 00. So that is the symmetry between Fibonacci retracements. 78.6 rebound, and look at this, perfect rebound of 78.6. It can go straight here to this level. Now, if it gets here, I want it a little bit higher because of these sellers here. Look how many sellers we had here. Look. Look. So, 57.30 is the region where I will sell. And my stop loss is 57.70. Because if it breaks 27.65, it can go to 20, uh, sorry, 57.10. Look, 57.65, this is the level. And this is inverted head and shoulders now. Now, if we get here, we still have the room to go down. So we will take that movement. Why not? 56.50, it can be hit at the, at the sell of 57.30. So 38.2, confluence, bang. But if it breaks this level, this is important level. It's... This is inverted head and shoulders. This is not three Buddha bottom. On Euro dollar, we see three Buddha bottom. Now, this is interesting. Look, it's three Buddha bottom. Look at this shoulder. It's definitely leaned in contrary to pound, which has almost the perfect shoulder here. Look. It looks bullish, right? So, yeah, but still, if we get here, but how many times it has been sold from this level? Once, twice three times heavy sell, four times heavy sell, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen times it has been sold from this zone. And I still think it has the potential to sell it again, at least to 56.50. So that is my final decision. Sell around 57.30, 57.70 stop loss. Break out by 57.65, 57.10, 58.25. If it breaks with 57.65, it can go up. Okay, so we, we want to see rejection of this level and then 56.50. If it breaks this point here, well, guys, that is why you should monitor the price behavior at this level here. Okay. Let's see Aussie now. Aussie is 83.30, 83.70, stop loss 82.50. 83.30 is sell position. Okay, 8330. Uh, definitely, Aussie is in downtrend, and recent comments from Chief uh, Reserve Bank of Australia uh, said that uh, the comment said that uh, uh, Aussie is really overvalued. It should go to 7550. So definitely, I'm into sell rallies mood, and I would like really to sell into nice rallies. That is why I prefer to see it at 8330 uh, here at this region. I want the price to pull back to this region for me to sell again. I don't say that it might not, 
uh, sell be sold before but guys uh, shoring Aussie is now I think very very good setup so it, for my way of trade I would like to see a little bit more of this retracement so 8330 it's a 78.6 previous sellers breakout pullback continuation point this is a breakout this is pullback this is from this point continuation so huge downtrend and look at this downtrend consolidation downtrend again so I want to see a little bit more of a pullback now it's too low for me to sell it okay okay we can talk and rub and how they influence the market uh, Dino, I don't understand you. We can talk and rub how they influence market moment make two lows. Please re reform your question. I a uh, dollar rubble. I don't see dollar rubble here, and I don't. Yeah, I don't trade dollar rubble. Rubble is not particularly interesting to me. I know that uh, it it can make some nice movement that pair, but I'm I'm I never t taken a look on you euro rubble. Primary, I am concerned with these uh, Western crosses, including yen. Uh, rubble, I don't know. Definitely, it can be manipulated, I think, now. And I just wouldn't like to mingle with rubble at the moment. Okay? Yeah, we have 25 different pairs. So, we want also spreads to be good. So, basically, I don't like to trade pairs with, with, which have more than 4 pip, 5 pip spread. So, Aussie, I, I'll take a look at Aussie. Aussie can be interesting. Shorting into Aussie, it's good. And for me, uh, best position would be to sell here again. Because if it wants to go up, it still needs to test this level. But I'm not sure. This can be a fake movement now to the upside. Then hits this level and bang, it goes down. We will see what can happen. But this is the position. Euro Yen, 46.50. Uh, this is buy position. And Euro Yen is in technical uptrend. I will correct this. So this is Euro Yen. Euro Yen, I will show you. Euro Yen now. Okay. Oh, it went. At the time I was preparing the webinar, look at this, the price was at 63. We are unfortunate sometimes and this is, look, we could have made an entry during this webinar, guys. Okay? Unfortunately, look at this, this is the time when I started the webinar and I was waiting for this setup, guys. 30 pips, we could have made 30 pips at this webinar. Okay, I would like to see it again at this level and try for a second chance buy trade. Second chance buy trade, okay? Look, unfortunately, this movement started at the start of our webinar, so it was pretty, pretty good setup. So, guys, now we want to see another chance. If it goes back to 146.50 region, 60, 146.25, target is 148.00. Dollar yen, 117.60, it's a set up. 117.60, 117.50, I am long on, I want to be long on dollar yen. And definitely this is what dollar yen is all about retracements and then buying it so we might see some action incredible this is really incredible look the price at the webinar the price the price hit entry and went 30 pips this is the first time I'm seeing this for this full year I've been working with these recaps and this is the first time that my entry has been basically open at the first minute of the webinar, guys. Look, it's incredible. How, how come? How can it happen? I wasn't paying attention, and now 
30 pips on euro yen and even more on dollar yen. Definitely I missed these two because of, you know, uh, look at this close of the candle. Look at this here at, at the top left corner here. What it says, time, 6. It's basically when our webinar has started, guys. The close of this candle gave us the entry. But you know, I, I couldn't know that. Now what can I say for this? I was planning you to for I was planning to give you these two setups. Now what can we do? Let's try for another potential. But I'm not so fond of these retests, but we need to see it. This is now a strange situation. I always say, guys, take the first hit of the level because the first hit is always the best. And we got two hits, both for 30, 35 pips, even more. Look at Euro Yen. 40 pips from the entry. Look. Look Dollar Yen. Wow. And what now, guys? It's up to you, but I cannot reanalyze it again. Euro Yen for me, this was the level to go long, and Dollar Yen, this was the level to go long. Guys, please, Daniel, for any questions, my yeah, my uh, my email is tarantulafx at gmail.com, so you can ask everything. So I will put this. So, guys, let me just pause the screen for a brief moment, and uh, I unfortunately, unfortunately, Euro Yen, Euro Yen has. Definitely, this was a good setup, really good setup, but what can I say, guys? We didn't have luck now. We didn't have any luck with this because the price basically, yeah, I, I just cannot see anything except longs. Look at Euro Yen. Look, it was, now we could have made some 50 pips almost. Unfortunately, yeah, this this can happen, but this is the first time I'm seeing this. The price has made entry point at the first minute we started the webinar, even before I started with risk disclaimer. So, guys, it's up to you. I need to say, please, I always say take the first hit of the price, and that first hit is the best. You know how we trade, and you know how we have been trading so far first hit now this is up to you please you don't make pending orders monitor the price for dollar yen and for euro yen because they already are making pips from the entries so if you want to make a re-entry you need to monitor the price zoom into 15 minutes use your method your system and see if there is any rejection of these levels then you can try to make an en another entry and definitely if it pulls back to and give us a second chance entry, use trailing stop. Never trade second chance pullbacks without a trailing stop. Okay? I will go through these slides again. So, guys, if you have any further questions, you can ask me, okay? Thank you, guys, for comments. Nice comments. Dollar cat sell. No, uh, I'm not a dollar cat sell, Daniel. I'm only long a dollar cat. I, I don't make. Uh, last week I made some dollar cat, the counter trend, and I lost some. So uh, I, then I, I went into a buy. So dollar cat for me is buy. Please draw your fibs and I'm only buy. Maybe it can go down, but I'm still long on dollar cat. Yes, it's, yeah, I know it's pretty much to the upside now. It went too much to the upside, but yeah. Uh, Bob is saying, have a good Christmas, catch up with you in January. So Bob will be making a break. Thank you, Bob. And for all my friends who will be celebrating Christmas, my uh, Orthodox Catholic friends, I wish you Merry Christmas. Of course, I will be with you till New Year, and then after New Year, we will go with another set of webinars, of course. But I, uh, of course, I wish you Merry Christmas. And for all our Muslim friends who will be celebrating their uh, their uh, holidays, I also wish them uh, all happy holidays. So we, we are trading all over the world and basically what I like to do, I want as always to trade united, 
no matter where we come from, which religion, it doesn't matter here in trading, we are all here to help each other. Okay? Uh, uh, now, you Rodi, yeah, I can go with you Rodi. Yeah, we are traders, definitely. Definitely, and we have many traders which come from India, and I really respect that because India is a big culture, old culture, and really Indian mindset is great for trading. I know personally great Indian traders, really. And my favorite chess player, Vishwanathan Anand, is also from India, so I know those are pretty, pretty wise people. So, let's say, let's see Euro Audi. Yeah, I have a Euro Audi, a Euro Swissy, damn Euro Swissy, it doesn't go anywhere at the moment. I'm still stuck into some of my long trades. <laughs> but if you look at price, 2010, and I, I just, I know that SMB is trying to defend this <laughs> strange, this is a little funny for me, really. The market wants to break the cap, and now SMB is really protecting the cap. Why don't they, they, they give us, I don't know, uh, one spike at least to, to, to these levels here, 2100, I will close my trade, and now I'm stuck in the trade. I am, you know, <laughs> my average position on Euro Swiss is 20.25, and now it's 20.10. I'm 15 pips in, in a drawdown, but I'm paying, I've been paying for these swaps each night. And really, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little bit funny at the moment. It, it's, it's stuck uh, just 10 pips. Make it or break it, whatever. My stop loss is pretty much now tight, so... I don't care if, if now if, if this cap is broken, but if SMB is true to their policy, <clears throat> this should be defended. And because uh, weak, uh, uh, strong franc is not good for Swiss economy. And if central bank said that uh, uh, 1.20 is the lowest possible, then it's still not good for Swiss economy, right? But I think that they want to see uh, what ECB will do. So if ECB uh, goes uh, uh, contrary to the opinion of what they said uh, last uh, about quantitative easing, last conference, I think that uh, maybe uh, SMB can uh, give us a negative rate for foreign investors and that can be done in a single day. So market is still uh, pricing in a last SMB, uh, SMB uh, liberate bid rate decision which has turned to be pretty much the same, but uh, there are two solutions. Either SMB should intervene and boost Euro Swiss, basically selling Swiss, Swiss and boosting the pair to the upside, or introducing negative deposit rates for foreign investors, basically which will be priced in the market, and market will spike. Uh, until then, we can only hope that this uh, uh, Movement is basically waiting for some decisions to be, okay? I need to make a, okay? So guys, please take this into consideration if you're trading, if you're trading Swiss, okay? Uh, now, uh, guys, uh, this is, okay, uh, Euro Swiss, yeah, Euro Swiss, same, doesn't do, it doesn't go anywhere, same as it was 2012. I hope it will be spiked. I'm still long. Euro Audi, I'm long on this pair. I want to see nice pullbacks. So, for Euro uh, dollar, Euro Audi, guys, long. If you want to uh, trade longs, then trade longs. I will give you the levels. So, this obviously was double bottom here. This was the, the place to go long. Next level for to go long is here. The next level is this. Just draw a simple Fibonacci tool, and Euro Audi is inclined to go upside, okay? So it's inclined to the upside, guys. Okay? Euro Audi is inclined to go to the upside, guys. So we will see what can happen. Okay, guys. I don't see any questions if this is everything. Yeah, <laughs> Carl is saying we are traders. Ileon is best wishes from Lithuania. Uh, Jeff is saying, wishing Nana and all, and all, only the best for holidays. Of course, I wish you all also the best. But still, guys, don't forget, we can trade this month. 
if you want to make a break, yes, but you can still trade this month. And uh, all until New Year. So be here with me and I will always present you these setups. So for Euro Audi, question was where to where to place uh, uh, an entry and this is the level to place next entry and this is the zone here for some bigger pullbacks, this zone here. And for me Euro Audi is definitely buy into dips, okay? Okay, uh, dollar cat. Daniel was asking. Yeah, Daniel, look, th this is big momentum now to the upside. I cannot short it now. Uh, how I do shorts? I uh, how I do counter trades? I need to see divergence. Divergence is spot only after the close of candle, and then I use confluence of Camarilla levels, trend lines, uh, RSI, you know, and I want to see basically where the price will. Uh, if the price reverses, but first I need to see divergence, and this is too. Long. This is pretty much huge momentum. This can be momentum candle, okay? So if this closes around here, you can go for high volatility trading setup, okay? Okay, slides once more. Yes, I once more. I will go through slides. Market is not looking good, Kalyan. It depends which market. Dollar is pretty much, pretty much looking good. Euro is, I don't know. It doesn't look so good, but it doesn't look so weak. Yen is still being sold. Pound is still short into rallies. So you you don't, you shouldn't care about whether Euro dollar will go up and down. You should take care about trading. So if we if we see a setup for long trade, we will take a long setup. If we see, we are not investors. We are basically traders. So we trade what we see. So if you see weakness in a pair, then you trade to the short side, right? I will. Th these are the slides. I will roll on these slides again. So euro dollar setup. GDP dollar. Aussie. Euro yen, dollar yen, and finally, the, yeah, that, that's it. Last slide, dollar yen. So, guys, uh, this is all what I uh, had for you this week. Uh, Kalian is asking, what about dollar cad uh, uh, 1640 breakout pullback continuation? Uh, 1640. Let's see. Oh, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't go long now. It, you might be right, but I wouldn't go. It's 1645. Look how much it went already today. It went already today. Look. So. 100 pips to the upside. I wouldn't go long now. I would wait for a bit of a pullback. Okay, I'm patient when I trade, so I would definitely go with a pullback. Now it's basically end of day trading, and sometimes price can retrace. So I'm not sure about longs now. Okay, yeah, let's wait. It's always better. So guys, this is everything. Ah, GBP, sure law. This is GBP. Deeper pullback for a sell, or eventually we can go along with a breakout setup. Okay. So, guys, if you don't have any further questions, we can assume the webinar is over. Thank you for listening to me. I wish you very, very best. I will be with you very, very soon. So, guys, take care. Trade safe. Cheers.